Hi guys, Darth Deuce here back with another Transformers video. Gonna be doing some Transformers reviews um, because we've gotten some more Legacy United Unicron Trilogy figures and I'm all over those. That's the Transformers, especially Armada. That's the stuff that I grew up with. Um, but lately, for the most part, it's been some Cybertron offerings. And uh, today, for this video, going to take a look at the new Deluxe Class uh, Cybertron Universe Hotshot. Um, this is the first of the Unicron Trilogy figures that I've reviewed on the channel where I don't actually own the original figure. Um, for whatever reason, I just never ended up getting, uh, way back then, a lot of the Cybertron figures. I only got, like, a handful, um, and Hotshot wasn't one of them. So that's one I missed out on. So it's cool to be able to have a chance to have the character in this new updated, uh, form. But... Taking a look at him here, he's a pretty decently sized Deluxe, actually. Um, he's got a decent size and height to him for a Deluxe. Sometimes, depending on the character, they can run kind of small. But I think he looks really good. I think there's a nice amount of paint apps here. Uh, looking at the head sculpt, I think it looks pretty good. He's got blue painted eyes, which look pretty good. They are hard to see because of the way the forehead's so raised in front of the eyes, creating that shadow there. But it's there, and I think the face sculpt in general looks real nice with that silver paint. In that yellow. Um, one thing I always find interesting is just how kind of different this design for Hotshot is compared to like Armada, like the Energon and then this design. They're all, those two are like kind of similar to each other, but then like the Armada Hotshot looks like completely different. Like if you didn't know their names, you could honestly think that they are two separate characters completely. That's just kind of interesting. But I like the blue and I like these red details and you got the Autobot symbol there on the shoulder. A lot of great paint and detail on the chest there as well. It looks really nice. With some yellow highlights on the uh, legs to kind of break up that blue a little bit. But it's pretty good looking. He does have a bit of like a back, like kibble sort of, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure. I assume the original toy probably had something similar to this. The uh, hanging windshield here, it's a little um, inconvenient, but it's not too bad. And in terms of, like, kibble, I've seen worse. So that's not too bad. But there's a lot of, like, real nice paint detail going on here, though, which I think is really nice. Articulation-wise, he does have a ball joint at the head. So he can move, look down a little bit, look up, a slight pivot and rotation. The shoulders are kind of interesting. For transformation, you have a hinge right here, so you can kind of move the shoulder up. But it's not really supposed to move there too much because then you start running into the head. But there is actual another joint here that moves outwards, but then it doesn't actually move very far out without really... You gotta move the whole thing, kind of get out a little bit. So the articulation there is a little weird, to be honest. I think that could have been engineered a little better. Then he has the elbow joint. It's really low. Um, I don't know if like the original toy was kind of like this, but he's got like a really long bicep and then a really short forearm, where, and then the elbow there. It does look a little weird. It makes his arms look a little odd you know i kind of see why it's like that because of the way the uh door parts the car mode are but uh yeah it's a little odd but they do bend 90 and he does actually have tools at the wrists um these little panels at the forearms they can kind of get in the way but uh for some reason i don't really know why but you can actually remove them um so i guess if you wanted to have them uh, without those on the forearms you can do that, but I feel like it takes away some of the bulk and aesthetic of the character, so I won't be displaying him with them off, but you do have that option, which is interesting. Does have a swivel at the waist, and he's got the swivel hips that go up quite a bit. They go back, but not quite so much because the uh, windshield gets in the way, but you can do like a full split, which is really good. A swivel cut at that thigh there, a single hinge at the knee that goes a bit past 90 and you have ankle joint which does have pivot and for transformation mainly but you can pivot the toe up as well if you want so pretty good articulation and all the joints are pretty nice and tight there's no uh loose joints going on here which is good in terms of accessories it comes with a couple things you do get his gun it is cast in this uh yellow translucent plastic but you do get some silver paint and does have a peg there at the end to accommodate for blast effects, which is nice. Um, you can store it on the back if you want. There's a peg there for on the roof of the car. You can just put it on the back if you don't want him to hold it. But, of course, you can also hold it. 
and you can hold it without the uh, winch, the doors to the car game in the way. And I think it looks pretty good. He also comes with a little tiny uh, Cyber Planet key cast in red. I'm really glad that they're including the Cyber Planet keys with these uh, figures. They don't activate any gimmicks or anything like the original toys. They're just for show, but still, it's nice that we get them at all. Um, I do believe this is for the Speed Planet, Velocitron, but I could be wrong about that. But in robot mode, well, in actually in both modes, but he has a slot in the top of his back right there. You can slot that in like so. So pretty cool, but not too much else to talk about. Um, you know, without having the original toy for comparisons, I can kind of just only talk about it as the figure itself. And it's a pretty solid deluxe though. Um, I haven't been picking up a ton of the recent deluxes. So uh, it's nice to kind of get one that I think is pretty solid. And it's a very cool design. But before we move on to transforming them, I will do one quick or a couple of quick comparisons. Here he is with the Legacy Armada hotshot. So you can kind of see just how different these designs are. And you all see how the uh, Cybertron one is significantly larger, both kind of in bulk and in height. So that's kind of interesting. I guess this would be kind of like an upgraded version of them, I suppose. They're technically in the same continuity. And then here he is with his leader, Optimus Prime, way back from Siege. which I haven't watched the, the show in a while, so I'm not entirely sure on the scale, but I think these guys scale decently well together. Uh, it would be kind of interesting to see them take another crack at uh, Galaxy or Cybertron Optimus Prime instead of just doing a retool of Ultra Magnus. Uh, whether they will ever actually do that, probably not, because I imagine they'd have to make it a, they'd make it a commander class. I don't know if they'd do that, but it'd be cool to see. I don't know. Probably not in the, could be in the realm of possibility, who knows. But uh, yeah, not too much else to compare him to. I don't, like I said, I don't have the original figure. So I guess we just get into transforming him. Take the gun off for now and uh, get to it. So I guess first I kind of like hinging the windshield out of the way. Just get it out of the way there. And then tab to open these panels here on the legs. You then would hinge the feet out. You can fold in the feet or the toes or whatever. You want to be a little careful with these, they just like to pop off a lot. But you can just fold the fold the feet in. Do the same on the other side there. And these legs kind of just accordion in. We see this engineering a fair amount. I feel like a fair amount with figures these days, uh, which is fine. It works good. It's just, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. And you can kind of keep going with it until you get the click and then you just close it up. Like so, close it up, and then you can tab the two legs together. Uh, then take the back here. There's this little like panel that goes behind the head to kind of lock the back in place and kind of close up the gappage. You can open that up, kind of just pull that kind of out a little bit. You can fold that panel in. I like to rotate the head back around and then fold it in so that when he's in robot or vehicle mode, you can't see the face. You don't have to do that, but uh, that's what I like to do. And you can actually rotate this whole roof part around, and then you can just kind of keep it up if you want. For now, then you bring the shoulders in. They actually make the uh, hood, or the front, sorry, of the car, which I think is actually kind of cool. And then you just kind of straighten out the legs there, or not legs, the arms. I then will straighten out the uh, hood. You just push this back. That kind of tabs in. And then tab in the windshield there there's a little tap there's a little slots there that you'll see tab that in that locks in just like so and then you just kind of bring the arms together these tab into the legs there like so and then that tabs in like so and then there you have the car mode pretty simple transformation but effective and you get a really cool car mode i really like this car a lot like I said, it's got a decent size. Like it kind of reminds me of some uh, deluxes from a number of years ago, like uh, from like Power of the Primes, or whatever, where we had a bit more size still. And uh, yeah, it looks good. You get all that nice detail, the blue car with the nice silver on the front, and you've got the yellow for the uh, headlights as well as some more on the back there. I kind of like how the uh, V12 
feet and the bottom of the legs kind of turn into this almost spoiler, which is kind of cool. And then you do have translucent yellow for the uh, windshield there and the windows. And like I said, if you fold, turn around the head, you can hide the face, which I like doing. But again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. But yeah, looks nice. Uh, pretty clean on the back. Obviously, you can kind of see the arms. But aside from that, it's a pretty clean bottom. Rolls quite well, actually. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot else to talk about. Um, you do have weapon storage, of course. Uh, the main weapon storage, what makes the most sense, is you pour it on top and he's got kind of a cannon in his car mode, which looks, you know, as good as, you know, no, most weapon storage does on a Transformers figure. However, you have ports on the very back and the front of the side of the car, so you can port that into any of the holes that you want if you want to. I don't personally like that, but it's an option if you want to do that. And then you can put the Cyber Planet key in the same slot as before, like so. And then one thing you can do if you want to kind of recreate that Cyber Planet key activating is you can actually flip out these little wings here, like so. And then you have that look, which I think is a pretty cool little feature. But uh, not too much else to talk about. Um, yeah, not really anything else to compare with either. I don't really see much point comparing them with the uh, uh, Armada Hotshot because they're just drastically different uh, cars. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not a whole lot to talk about, like I said, but uh, I just want to cover this figure because I think it is pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to remember what other Deluxe has even come out recently. But uh, I think out of the Deluxes I picked up, which I can't even remember, like Wing, Wing Blade, Wing Blade, Wind Blade, sorry, I always get that mixed up. Wind Blade, I mean, I picked her up a while ago. It feels like a while ago now, but uh, I got her and she's good. But uh, uh, this one's also really solid. So, you know, um, if you're a fan of the Unicron trilogy, especially Transformers Cybertron, and you want, if you never had a Cybertron hotshot and you want one like me, then definitely recommend picking them up. And even if you have the old figure, probably a worthwhile uh purchase to get if you really like the character in cybertron uh, i imagine it's an upgrade at the very least in articulation because most of these new updated figures are um but yeah i like it a lot solid figure no kind of no matter what anyways thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments below and i'll see you all in the next video may the force be with you